The Clear All Styling and Clear Widget content feature in Adobe Muse can be a real productivity boost for you in your everyday work in Adobe Muse. Let me show you how that feature works. I'm here in Adobe Muse and I'm getting ready to add another component to my design. I'd like to add a tabbed panel. I'm going to go ahead and show my guides for a moment here and come on over into the widget library. I want to press and drag a tabbed panel onto the canvas and I'll go ahead and place that there. Now by default, to make it a little easier to understand how a widget works, we've gone in and applied default styling to things like the up, over, down, and active state of elements like the tabs here. We've also put default images in text in the containers. Now when you're new to Muse, that's helpful, but once you get used to how a widget works, it can be cumbersome to come in and manually remove all of the styles and content. What I can do now is right mouse out on this object and select Clear All Styling. When I do that, Muse is going to remove the up, down, over, and active states, um, graphic styles and paragraph styles that might be applied to that object. I'm now free to come on in to my own paragraph styles and apply, for example, the diamond button text paragraph style to my tabs. I'm going to press and drag this out a little bit longer. So now I'm able to style things, but I still have all of these default images in each of my tab panels. What I'll do is right mouse on the widget again, and this time select Clear Widget Contents. It's going to go back to the default state of one tabbed panel, but I can hit the plus button and add a second and third tab panel that's going to inherit the styling of my first tab, so that's great. Let me come in and turn off um, my guides here for a moment. What you'll notice also is that we've changed the default state to objects on the canvas. We've made it a little less noisy, and in doing that, it's a little harder to see where objects are. So for example, if I came in and accidentally drew a text box, I don't know if you've ever done that, and then clicked off, you can't see that it's there. So in order to make discovering where elements are a little bit easier, we've gone in and added the ability to hide and show frame edges. We even have a shortcut key that allows you to toggle that on and off. So as I'm working, if I quickly want to see where my objects are, I can toggle between those two states, see where those edges are, and continue to do my design work. I can now come in and add my own content to this tab panel. So I encourage you to download the new version of Adobe Muse and give these new features a try.